हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इजी लर्निंग विद डॉक्टर सलमान खान इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी द पैरासाइट लिशमानिया डोनोवैनी These are the sections under which we will be studying introduction epidemiology habitat morphology life cycle modes of infection pathogenesis clinical features laboratory diagnosis and prophylaxis first introduction to the parasite general characteristics the genus leishmania is named after sir william leishman who discovered the flagellate protozoa causing kala azar the indian visceral leishmaniasis also called as vl all members of the genus leishmania are obligate in intracellular parasites that pass their life cycle in two hosts the mammalian host and the insect vector which is the female sand fly in humans and other mammalian hosts they multiply within macrophages in which they occur exclusively in the amastigote form having an ovoid body containing a nucleus and kinetoplast in the sand fly they occur in the promastigote form with a spindle shaped body and a single flagellum arising from the anterior end it can be defined as the parasite causing visceral leishmaniasis or kala azar in man it also causes the condition post kala azar dermal leishmaniasis also called as pkdl then history sir william leishman in the year 1900s observed the parasite in spleen smears of a soldier who died of dumdum fever or kala azar contracted at dumdum calcutta leishman reported this finding from london in the year 1903 in the same year donovan also reported the same parasite in clean smears of patients from madras the present day chennai the name leishmania donovani was therefore given to this parasite the amastigote um, forms of the parasite as seen in smears from patients are called leishman donovan bodies or ld bodies next epidemiology visceral leishmaniasis or kala azar is a major public health problem in many parts of the world according to the world health organization who a total of 5 lakh cases of of visceral leishmaniasis occur every year of these new cases 90% are found in the indian subcontinent sudan and brazil the disease occurs in endemic epidemic or sporadic forms major epidemics of the disease are currently found in india brazil and sudan next habitat the habitat is the cells of monocyte macrophage system that is the reticulo endothelial system of man the organs involved are the ri system especially of the liver spleen bone marrow where they are present as a mastigotes they are found mostly within the macrophages in the spleen liver bone marrow and less often in other locations such as skin intestinal mucosa and mesenteric lymph nodes and in the midgut of sand fly they are seen as promastigotes next morphology the parasite exists in two forms first a mastigote form which is seen in humans and other mammals second promastigote form seen in the sand fly and which can also be cultivated in a lab laboratory in artificial culture first about the amastigote form the amastigote is also called as the non flagellate form habitat it occurs in the infected lesion of man in reticulo endothelial cells that is the re cells the amastigote form is also called ld or leishman donovan body shape and size it is round or oval body measuring 2 to 4 micrometers along the longitudinal axis it has a cell membrane which is dedicate and is demonstrable in fresh specimens only the nucleus measures a little less than 1 micrometers in diameter it is oval or round and is situated in the middle of the cell or along the side of the cell wall the kinetoplast which is composed of a parabasal body and a blepharoplast lies tangentially or at right angles to the nucleus it contains dna and a mitochondrial structure then there is axoneme also called as rhizoplast which is a delicate filament extending from the kinetoplast to the margin of the body and represents the rest of the flagellum then it also contains a vacuole which is an unstained clear space lying alongside the axoneme this is the amastigote form with the following structures the cell membrane axoneme nucleus vacuole kinetoplast and the basal body as seen in the diagram these are the amastigotes when seen under a microscope next the promastigote form the promastigote is also called as the flagellate form habitat it occurs in the digestive tract of the insect vector sand fly or a laboratory culture shape and size early ones are short oval or pear shaped bodies measuring 5 to 10 micrometers in length into 2 to 3 micrometers in breadth 
The fully developed ones are long, slender, spindle-shaped bodies measuring 15 to 20 micrometers in length into 1 to 2 micrometers in breadth. The nucleus is centrally placed. The kinetoplast lies transversely near the anterior end. It has a free flagellum which is 15 to 30 micrometers in length that is of the same length as the body or even longer which is projecting from the anterior end, the front. As the flagellum extends anteriorly without curving back on the body, there is no undulating membrane. The flagellum doesn't form the undulating membrane. The vacuole is present near the root of the flagellum. It is eosinophilic, a light staining area lying in front of the kinetoplast over which the root of the flagellum runs. When it is stained with Leishman's stains, the cytoplasm appears blue, the nucleus appears pink or violet and the kinetoplast appears bright red in color. This is the structure of the promastigoat. It has the flagellum, the basal body, vacuole, nucleus, kinetoplast and the axoneme. These are the promastigotes when seen under a microscope. This is the comparison between the ermastigote form and the promastigote form with the similarities in the structures of both the forms. Next is the life cycle. The parasite passes its life cycle in two hosts. First, the ermastigote form occurring in man which is the vertebrate host and second is the promastigote form occurring in the sandfly which is the insect host. First, development in sandfly which is the intermediate host. Female sandflies ingest intracellular and free ermastigotes from infected person also from dog in certain areas like East Africa during blood sucking. In the sandfly, ermastigote develops into promastigote stage in the midgut of sandfly in 72 hours. Promastigotes multiply rapidly and fill the lumen of gut. After about 4 to 18 days, depending on the species, the promastigotes migrate into the pharynx and mouth parts where a partial or complete blockage may be produced. The parasites are dislodged by the efforts of the blocked sandfly to ingest blood. A heavy pharyngeal infection of sandfly is usually seen between 6th and 9th day of its infective blood meal. This type of development is called as anterior station development. Now, this this infective sandfly takes its blood meal by biting over a human host in whom inoculation of the infective promastigotes occurs. Now the infective promastigotes are inoculated in man. The next is development in man which is the definitive host. Following inoculation in man, the reservoir, the promastigotes are taken by phagocytic cells and they develop into ermastigotes. Transmission may also occur by contamination of the bite wound and by contact. The parasites multiply in cells of mononuclear phagocytic system, especially of the liver, spleen and bone marrow. Inside the reticuloendothelial cells of human beings, the ermastigote form divides and multiplies by binary fission. When the number of parasites inside the host cell reaches between 50 to 200, the host cell ruptures and the parasites are liberated in blood circulation from where they again invade the new cell of the reticuloendothelial system. Hyperplasia of reticuloendothelial cells leads to enlargement of liver and spleen. When the mononuclear cells are filled with ermastigotes, they rupture liberating parasites which in turn invade other cells including polymorphs and are phagocytosed. So this is the life cycle of the parasite Leishmania donomani. Next modes of infection. Infective form Promastigote form present in the midgut of female sandfly is the source, mode of transmission or the root. Humans acquire the infection by bite of an infected female sandfly. It can also be transmitted vertically from mother to fetus by blood transfusion and accidental inoculation in the laboratory. Vehicle, the infected female sandfly is the vehicle of infection. If you wish to see more of such videos, do comment below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, press the bell icon for early notification of my new videos.